What up, y'all? Welcome back to another Double Masters draft. We got seven of eight players in the queue. Oh, hold on. Fuck. Man, I gotta take my VPN off, but I... <sighs> I guess it's fine. Is the stream, like, lagging or bounce Or, like, is it... Is it okay? If it's not okay, I'll just stop and take the stupid VPN off, but... Seems fine? Okay. All right. Well, seven of eight. I thought it was going to be faster this time. We started earlier when I had like five players and I was like, oh, this should fire right away. But then we had like six minutes where nothing happened. So here we are. Cut this Command the Dread Horde. It's a cool card, but I don't think it's where I want to be. Eat to Extinction. Do I care about Eat to Extinction? Do I have Hero's Downfall? I think Hero's Downfall is probably better than Eat to Extinction, right? I think I just put that in there because it was new. And Murderous Riders. Murderous Rider in here? Yeah, there's Murderous Rider too, so I don't know. Leon and Relic Order is also kind of poop. Maybe I'll take that card out. Well, we finally fired. Was it worth it for a Kaldalfa Forge Master or Sunken Ruins? Probably not. What are we taking here? Are any of these cards more powerful? There's no... There's no like proliferate right not proliferate like populate so like if i make a five five oh x x x x greens yeah we're taking this for sure i mean for like nine mana you're making four four fours right for seven you're making three three threes like this card seems great especially if like basalt oh we can just take the basalt monolith too yeah i'm not a big chromatic star fan i just don't think it I mean, it does, it literally does nothing. So, topple the, the statue is very good. Angel of Dawn is actually pretty good for a flyer. Don't care about Ratchet Bomb. Crushing Vines is great. Sift is great. Do we want to be blue green again? I don't know, kind of. Star is amazing in this cube, though. That is interesting. Yeah, Crushing Vines is basically like Vindicate in this freaking cube. I don't know if I want to second pick it over a Sith. Liege of the Tangle. How big are we going? We can choose any number of lands you control and put an Awakening counter on each other. You become 80 elementals. Yeah, we're definitely taking this guy. Also, Conclave Naturalist, though? Dang. I think Liege is just super strong. It's expensive, but like you already have Basalt Monolith. Yeah, I'm just taking Liege. Conclave Naturalist is a common. We can just take it right now, I guess. Okay, cool. I think it's probably better than Predator just because it's really, really versatile. But I do want some Kozilek's Predators too. So let's sort by mana cost. Got three, four, five, eight X. What is that noise? Like that just there was just a noise. 
and I have no idea what it was because nothing happened. Shroom is interesting. Is there any reasonable way we can play a Shroom? I mean, if not, we just take the Sphinx and go blue, blue green again. Um, Pentad Prism makes this. Are we just trying to get all the <laughs> ding fries are done? Ding fries are done. Ding fries are done. Oh, what if we are playing an Urza land deck? That's actually interesting. I mean, with both of these, yeah, I'm gonna take Urza's tower. Let's go. Let's go deep. Let's go deep. I'm game. See, right there. What is that? Ding. Frazo done. Ding. Frazo done. Do, 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 do. Oh, another Urza's tower. Well, with nothing good in this pack. I'm game. Two towers. It's like the Lord of the Rings up in this bitch. Do we just take another tower? Oh man, I mean it's better than Relic Runner, right? Fuck, three towers, bro? Just give me all the big stuff. Oh, Kozilek's Predator, yeah! Yo, where my mines and my power plants at? So many like superfluous dings, man. It's pretty wild. Would you like an apple pie with that? Ding fries are done. There's a mine. Oh, we're doing it. This is exciting. Superfluous Dings is my new wave band. Dude, I'll listen to it. God, I still have Vampire Nighthawk in this cube. That's a yikes for me, dog. There's nothing better than that guy? Shit. Crushing Vines. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Basically dead. Thopter Foundry came back? So did a second Sift? Yeah, we're just going to take the Sift. I mean, we're not a Thopter Foundry deck. We can't... I'm not trying to support two more colors on top of this. Hey, I've got the bangs and I'm really sinking. This baby's got the bangs. No, no, no. The Benz is actually one of my favorite Radiohead albums. It literally might be my favorite, actually. It was it was pre, um, before they started getting like weird, you know. No offense to Radiohead, but how's the draft experience? 
I, like the, the fight, this card costing six mana is wild. Like by that time, I'm just like, I don't need this mana. What the hell's Mazarek? Crawl death, crawl death priest. Two two for five. Whenever put a one one counter on each. I mean, it's good, but it's not that good. I kind of like sandstone oracle here. I think OK Computer is great. I think it's for me. It goes the bends OK Computer and then everything else I can kind of take or leave. But I think it's I think I like the bend. I like I think I like OK Computer because it was right before they started getting weird. But oh, also flies. That's interesting. I mean, it's great and all, but like, it's six mana. I feel like once I have this much mana, I'm already good. I want to take Sandstone Oracle. And, God, nothing in this pack is exciting. Maybe Cathodian. I think Pablo Honey's fine. I just don't think it has an, as many bangers as, as as the Benz. I mean, it does have Creep, but... Actually, Stirrings could be fine. I don't think Stirrings is that much better than Cathodian. Like, we're going to hit a lot. I guess, I mean, if we're trying to go... I'd rather have bodies. Like, I'd rather have things to do, but... Whatever. Whatever, man. God, I've literally seen... I've done three drafts, and I've seen braids in each one of them. Um, rolling Earthquake. I mean, we'll probably die, right? But it wipes the board. Oh, what up, Mark? Mark, have you been here? Yeah, because you were talking about raid. Uh, we do need power plant. We also need more of them. Simondo, you're awesome AF. Got him. It's just rolling earthquake. I want to take rolling earthquake. It seems too good, right? <laughs> A fourth tower. <laughs> oh god. Did you got him? I think I did. I believe in myself. I like Cloudridge Stinks. I also like Everflowing Chalice, but it's probably Cloudridge Stinks, right? This card is just is great we're not locked into blue it's true I just think it's significantly better than ever flowing chalice I'm really surprised I haven't seen a pentad prism court of calling is interesting but not super exciting I mean triple greens Chalice is probably fine in the deck. Yeah, I agree completely. Icar Wellspring would be nice if we had ways to sacrifice it. We do not. It could just be Frogify. It could be Peace Strider. I think it's fine. It's a fine body. We could Fierce Empath for Liege or Sandstone Oracle, but it's still a 1 1. Whatever, I'll just take Peace Strider. I don't think it's. That pack's not super exciting. I like an Ash Barons, especially if we're playing like Earthquake and the red cards and the blue cards. Nothing else in here is that exciting. It's a lot of colorless lands we're looking at here. Guys, remember when we were getting Urza lands and we literally couldn't find a uh, a power plant? Me too. Could be Cathartic Reunion. No. Got him. Did, did. It's like Rebuke. I'm just taking another tower because I think like 
there's nothing else in this pack I care about. But like, if we can get enough towers, then maybe that's maybe that just is better, right? I missed the Jumpstart Arena stream, but I watched... I don't even know if I want to post it. It wasn't... It was It was much less exciting than I expected it to be. Um... Well... What is this rule one counter for much... For, for Prairie deals 2 damage? Sure, that's big nothing. 2, 3 for 3... Nope. Just Ancient Stirring is number 2. Okay. Wow, the mana reflection came back, guys. You know what? I will take mana reflection at this point. Man, I can't actually resize these cards, and I also can't resize this. How is this a better experience? Like, I want to be able to... I don't want to have to scroll like this. Especially if the scroll by doesn't scroll, it just sort of ticks. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't seem better. <laughs> what do I know? I'll take Spring Leaf Drum. <laughs> so look at this. I'm like scrolling. Uh, uh, no, nothing moves, nothing moves, nothing moves. Once I get to the... Literally nothing happened. Look at this. I'm clicking on it, right? It, you can tell it changes color. Ready? It went from light gray now but like I drag it over here and nothing happens it does absolutely nothing that's insane it and I'll watch I'll let it go you can see the color change <laughs> so I was holding it the whole time that's wild A fifth Urza's Tower. Yeah, that's that's what we want. <laughs> that's ridiculous, dude. Eh. Frogify. It's removal. I don't care about magnifying glass. Maybe I should. I don't know. I could be wrong. I wish I could see my whole deck, though. I wish I could make this in such a way that I could see the whole deck instead of having to scroll. But I can't get rid of this. This just seems worse. I, I just I don't like it. Ugh. No not no Tron lands. Okay. Sounds good. A fair mechanist could get a colorless card and not an artifact card. That would be great. Never another creature in his battle from their drop one encounter, not really what we're looking for, unfortunately. <sighs> That's actually pretty bad. This seems this card seems terrible. I don't know why it's in this format, but I don't know. Can I assume Badger gives to me? So it's either Badger or Garrett, uh, which is uh, G S Noyan. I, don't, I actually have no idea how to pronounce his name, but either way. They were both being wonderfully generous earlier, so I guess we'll just take Pongify and something else. Ugh. When you when you just literally can't find another card to pick and it you get two cards. Sure, I'll just take this. Oh, Brea. That's pretty sick. Not in our colors at all. And not a single uh you know. 
or as a land, but nevertheless, I think it's just Predator here. God, Bray would be so good. Whisper is, Whisper is not bad, actually. Yeah, Whisper is probably the pick. It gets us from two to four. Double power plants. I hope the other one comes back. Taking power Thank plants. You. Yeah, that seems like a no brainer. Bluester, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. If I can get one more mine and that power plant comes back, I'll be a pig in shit. Dude, even the scroll... Like, how do you not make a scroll bar work? I can't drag it. I can't use my mouse. My mouse wheel to scroll. All like You literally have to click on the empty spot. That's insane. See, like, I can put it on the... I can put it on the bar. On the bar right now. Right... Right there. Mouse scroll wheel doesn't work. Which typically does work when you're trying to scroll things. Well, I was hoping this is a there's a land, but it's not. Turn an artifact you control. We don't have that many artifacts. Thirst is decent. It helps us find lands. We already have a sift and two ancient stirrings, though. It's probably just tumble magnet. Scroll bars are new tech. Just working out the kinks, man. It's true. I think it's actually Tumble Magnet. We don't have many defensive cards. Like with Sift and two Ancient Stirrings, I really don't feel like we're uh, at a loss for... Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Ancient Stirrings can actually get green cards too. Well, we have one mine, one power plant, and five Urza's Towers. So, you know. Should we take this star, guys? Let's take the star. You guys love it. I'm in for it. So our big like, wind conditions are Gelatinous Genesis, Sandstone Oracle, Leisure of the Tangled, Peace Strider to get us over the Rolling Earthquake. You're a star. You son of a biscuit. Got him. His mother's not going to even recognize him. Um. Yeah, clear shot's fine. Is it? This isn't really a clear shot deck. Is it a rapacious dragon deck? What are the odds of us being able to cast this rapacious dragon? Come on, Jared, and his battlefield will draw a card for each creature it devoured. I don't, I don't like Scepter here. Like, we're just going to put, like, we have Frogify, Pongify, and Ancient Stirrings. It's not super exciting. I think I'm just going to take Dragon here. Because we'll play the Dragon. We got. Oh, fuck, I have another tower. Why, why another tower? You son of a biscuit. This finds Sandstone Oracle, and that's pretty much it, right? can't get over this scrolling dude uh destroy an artifact seems fine we'll just take that for the sideboard spellblade is removal but it's not great removal does that matter i don't know
Or imagine the opponent's reaction when you open with a Tron piece. Star. Next turn, crack the star for green agent stirrings. Yeah, that seems alright. What does this guy do? Discard a card at random. If you discard a creature, it deals damage equal to that creature's power. To, what? It's, but otherwise, it's just a 5 4. I'm just taking Sandstone Oracle number 2. I don't think that. I don't think the other land has come back. Eh, I'll take another Predator, though. I was really hoping for that other power plant to come back, but. It's not meant to be. It was meant to be. Well, that's amazing. Also, rare, rare, uncommon is still in the pack. God, Sphinx is good, and Eryx is good, but we're going to just take the power plant, because YOLO. Oh, man, that's wild. <laughs> just take another Ancient Stirrings. We do only have one mine, so like our priority is on the mine, unfortunately, but that's okay. Man, that's just wild, dude. This is 24 cards. Obviously, we're keeping all of these because what's the point otherwise? I don't think we want three stirrings. I think two is good. I think we can probably cut lightning axe. We can board it in if we need it. All right, we're gonna play tower, 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 power plant, power plant, mine. We're gonna play, play with one mountain because we also have chromatic star. We'll play the ash barons. Should we just play one more tower? I don't want to like overload on towers. One mountain. So we get nine more lands. I like everything else in this deck. Mana Reflection is interesting, but if we go like Mana Reflection into a Rolling Earthquake or Gelatinous Genesis, it's just bonkers. I want to put one more tower in. Fuck it. Four towers is the way to go. Eight lands, so we can go three, set, three, five. And we only have, I don't, actually, maybe Vertalic Rebuke is pretty bad. Let's go two, six. I just don't think we need another card draw spell because we already have two ancient stirrings too. And I kind of want to take out a blue card. I think we probably just put crushing vines in. Like crushing vines has been great. So we have Ash Brown's Island, Island, Chromatic Star, and then like two ancient stirrings, which help us hit. Plus we don't have a ton of removal. We have just like Frogify, Pongify, Crushing. Actually, I don't even know if I like Pongify. Like, the number of times it's just going to... Like, we can board that in if they have, like, a bomb, but, like, the number of times it's just going to be... Let's just put Ancient Stirrings number three in. Like, we're just trying to hit Urza lands, right? Set seems good. I don't mind it. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say, right? Um, I don't know. It's hard to come off of the Vintage Cube. Like, I was watching Vintage Cube videos today, and I was like, God, I just missed this. Vintage Cube is just so good all the time. I'm gonna keep it because we got ancient stirrings. So you know, 
Not too bad. We got two drop, three drop, four drop. Well, Sterling is actually digging five in a like 32 card deck or 33 card deck, depending on when you play it. So even better. Um, let's strings now. So we know we have really good odds to hit tower. So like hitting power plant here is pretty fine. Put you on top, and then the rest don't care. Yeah, it is pretty late for me to be honest with you. It's like four a.m. right now. It's four a.m. I must be lonely. Oh man, they got rid of my two drop. Don't even care. Thank you. Long hair, don't even care. Guyver, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. Welcome back. Let's pass the turn. Do 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 do. Land. Oh, looking good. Let's tumble it up. Oh, come on, man. There's only one mine in our deck, unfortunately. We got another Ancient Stirrings, though. We can also get it with an Ash Barons if it turns into a basic land. Don't think it will. They have two cards in hand. Okay. Well, we have two more Ancient Stirrings, but one we put on the bottom with the first Ancient Stirrings. So I'm not really going to count that one. Another tower. The juice is real. Oh my god, if we hit that mine, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana. So we can go 10, 10. No, 5, 5. 5, 5, fives. Wow, that's pretty good. I think 5-5s five would probably win the game. Unless they have Toxic Deluge, I guess, but... Well, that's not... That's not very nice. Mine off the top. I mean, we're still at a point where we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Do it for for three 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 threes. Still not terrible. Two three four five six. But they we don't really have any pressure either. So come on, mine off the top. That could be a mine, guys. Ash Barons and Sandstone Oracle. I think we're just taking the Oracle. I mean, even if it's just a still a 4-4 four, four flyer. I mean, the alternative is Ash Barons, which gets us a land. God, what if they have a counterspell, though? That'd be super sad. Well, that land's looking better now. They do have a kind they're going to hinder this. Oh, that's fine. I mean, we have time to untap our basalt monolith, so. Sift is good. Another tower is something. 
So, I mean, still, if we untap this, we go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we hit a land, we can go nine for four, four, fours, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, we just have to watch out for more counter spells, I guess. Something's happening. Three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is an X spell? Walking Ballista. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Or pay? That's interesting. Wow, we're definitely crushing vines that. So I'll take three. I'm game. Come on, mine. We've looked through a lot of cards, dude. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. I mean, we can all map this. This makes Basalt Monolith tap three. That's it. This is infinite mana with Basalt Monolith. Sure. Oops. Uh, untap this. Protect from Hexproof from Monocolored. We have Tumble Magnet. Sure. Any land, particularly Urza's Mine. That's what we're looking for here. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let's make eight eight eights. Do I look like I fuck around? Hope you got toxic deluge. I doubt you do. But you probably will, because you didn't concede. I guess they're like, we'll see one more card. <sighs> this guy's good. Okay. Oh, they do have Toxic Deluge. Well... That's unfortunate. That was so exciting, too. <laughs> it's fucking unbelievable. How? Explain it to me like I'm a moron. actually insane of all the cards in the fucking format you happen to have the literal one clip you need the clip I card the one card you need <laughs> and it's a rare and it's the card I call okay unbelievable absolutely unbelievable sure and it's in your hand right it's in your it's not only in your deck it's in your hand it's maybe like one of two cards that actually like do something and you happen to have like supernatural stamina so you get to keep your 5-5 five five, like cool Yep, it's good stuff. I 
I mean, we can actually make infinite mana now, which is pretty cool. We don't have a red source, though, which is unfortunate. I sometimes can't watch you because you get salty so hard, but you have the best reason. So well, that makes that well, that's rough. Yeah, they don't. Oh, they do. They have a black card. Cool. Sure. Guess I'll tap it. Really? No attack? Why wouldn't you attack there? I wish we had something to do with infinite mana like Gelatinous Genesis. I wish we had a blue mana here. Ugh. I mean, we can still, if we go like Chromatic Star into Fireball, like, we can still win the game. Take nine. If we had 5% of the luck they had. Yeah, well, what can you do? Last last card. Well, we get one more, I guess. Well, we're halfway there, guys. They have one card in hand. Oh, we're just dead if they if they play it right. We'll see. We'll see what they do. That's wild, dude. Oh my god, they didn't play it correctly. That's amazing. All you had to do is move this over, and then both your flyers are lethal. It's really good. Jeez. <laughs> you actually... I said, all you have to do is look at your Toxic Deluge luck to know that. Uh, no, if Rolling Thunder kills us both, we draw, which is better than a loss. That doesn't do anything, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is like a million mana, actually. Jesus. They didn't attack with this guy, though. This is very strange. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Earthquake in hand, no red source. Two blue cards in hand, no blue sources. Okay. That'll do, pig. Yep. Next card's Chromatic Star, right? No? You're not going to show me? Okay. Well... No, I don't want to concede. I just want to begin sideboarding. Jesus. Good grief. Hmm, boy. Probably for the best. It just means it was the star. Yeah. You're right.
I mean, I might kill one tower for one island. Oh boy. Does testing suggest that, or does one single game suggest that? Because those are those are significantly different. Let's go you into star. Probably gonna save that star until we really need it. Springleaf drum might be fine, but we don't have a ton of creatures, keep in mind. We have like eight creatures and like three of them cost seven or more, so. Every every time you get my guy, sure. Every time. Well, there is an island here. I'm probably just taking island. This is my first game of magic in a year. <laughs> Welcome back. Man, first game of first game of magic in a year, and they had Toxic Deluge against our eight eight eights. Hard to even be upset, but not that hard. Get busy stirring. There's gonna be a power plant. Oh, oh, just a tower. Just a tower. Well, there's a gelatinous genesis, unfortunately. Just gonna keep playing these. Like we haven't seen a power plant or a mine yet. So we know there are six cards on the bottom of our library that are not those. <clears throat> Is this a limited draft? What other kind of what other kind of drafts are there? Hmm. 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 That does get us a red, but we're not gonna do that now for sure. We're just gonna play Sphinx. It's gonna be. Uh, no. I do think this is good enough to keep. So next time we can get a red, play the red, and then also uh, play naturalists if we get it. Well, not if we get it. Bone picker. Can you pick my bones? Alright, let's basic land cycle, I guess. Let's get an island. Or mountain, rather. Not an island. Can you make them shallow? I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna attack here, and the reason being is that like they have like stamina that they can play against this guy. I kind of just want to play naturalist as a four four here because it short like next turn we can go forest sandstone and draw like five cards. This isn't a may. Oh, it is may. Um. No, I'm not going to kill it because we're just going to fill up our hand next turn anyway, so I'd rather just kill it after we do that. So if they tap out for something, like they go to six, we go this, this, and if we have one card, we draw like five. That's pretty good. Unless they have Metallic Rebuke. They always have Metallic Rebuke. Oh, double Frogify. Well, I'm fascinated. Alright. 
Well, I assume we're going to draw Tron land here. That's just my guess. We didn't. So we're just going to draw four? That's pretty cool. They don't still have mana for rebuke, so that's good. Oh, you're just going to steal Sabotage. That's... Well, that's cool. <laughs> God, Jesus. This is amazing, man. I mean, at this rate, they're going to hit the Pro Tour in no time. Like, I have two threats, you have two Frogifies, all of your threats fly. You've had perfect counters for every single one of my threats. So, maybe we draw another Sandstone Oracle? Or an Island. One, two, three, four, Kozilex boys. We have a sift in the deck, so I'm gonna keep the peace stride or the land in hand. Two three threes is not terrible. I also have eight mana in hand. Or in on board rather. We don't keep the man in the hand. Um, no blocks because I don't have any floaty boys. They only have two cards, so oh, power plant. This is what the dream is like to live. Of course, we have nothing to take advantage of that with, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. Sure. They're going to block with Parasitic Strix and play Superhuman Stamina. Yep. Oh, God. Down here, salt is a way of life. Let's see what they flip off their Treasure Keeper, and then they get another two life from the Parasitic Strix. They get to attack with both. Nice. The perfect hit. Okay, so. I guess that's that. So we take five here, we go to five, and then we can actually play Rolling Thunder for two. I mean, the problem is we're, it's, we're dead in two turns. Like, we have nothing to stop these guys, and they're just going to play their five, five Magic Metallic Sphinx here. Shroom. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I've wasted my time. So that's good. Cool. Urza's mine. Yep, that was fun. Jesus Christ. Talk about having it all. No offense to our opponent, but they'll be on the Pro Tour next fucking week. So that's amazing. Jesus. I mean, the worst thing that possibly happened to them was... uh. <laughs> They cascaded in Walking Ballista and then got to draw Shroom next turn, so, you know, that's a thing. I think our deck is sweet. Like, to be fair, we win game one if they don't have Toxic Deluge, so what can you do? Oh, actually, I'm gonna. I was gonna take one, taking one, one tower out for one island, just in general. Yeah, I also think three ancient stirrings is correct. So, Michael, wow, I'm a big kid now. Bing, bing.
You know what? I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Two Tron pieces and a Basalt Monolith. All we need... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. It's your boy. That's what I'm talking about. God, what if the temptation to get Tron is too strong? And I'm just like... All I do is draft Tron in the Double Masters format. Look at that stupid idiot. Um... Yeah, alright. Sure. I mean, if we draw either Urza's Mine or Mana Reflection, it's pretty cool. We drew a Tumble Magnet. One, two, three. I mean, like, we can cast this guy, but it just doesn't do much for us. So I'll just play Tumble Magnet here. You'll become the very thing you swore to destroy. Holy shit, that's fantastic, dude. He became the very thing he swore to destroy. I, mean, I don't think that's from anything, I just think it's funny. Look at this stupid bird. You gonna sack your whisper? Oh, not whisper. God, one gets haste and one gets a counter. Oh, Demonic Pooper. Thank you for the bits, buddy. I appreciate you, my dude. Okay, well, we're going to tap one of these guys. That's for sure. And then I'm probably just going to kill this guy. Making your way downtown, walking fast. Do, do, do. This red man is really... You were supposed to destroy Tron, not assemble it. You were the chosen one. Okay. Oh, that's interesting because you're sacking the expedition map to give this guy plus one, plus one. That's pretty cool. I mean, I'll just take three here. I think my Tunnel Magnet's a little more valuable than three damage. We can do better. Well, actually, Frank, it's four damage. <laughs> well, I'm just untapping my Basalt Monolith now. Um, God, we draw nothing if we play this. That's really sad. Why don't they have more cards in hand? I mean, if I'm just playing a 4 4 I'd rather just play this, right? Sure. I'll choose you, and then I'll say nah. Mary Mo, oh, she's a vegetarian. Mary Mo, Mary Mo. I'll probably tap this guy now. They have five cards. I hope they don't play anything. I hope they're just like pass. And then I'm like Oracle. Okay, okay, that's a thing. Land, Causal X Predator. Just gonna play Predator, I guess. Oh, 
Yeah, we're still gonna play. We're still playing Luigi's Mansion. We're still enjoying it so far. Well, that is unfortunate, as you can imagine. I hope you kill the tumble magnet. You did not. Well, that's a more like a bummer, a bummer magnet. Attack for two float in the air? Sure. One time. Ancient stirrings could be my one time. Power plant. Oh, mountain. And island. Hmm. If we get the mountain, we can do for four. Does not kill the blood. Oh, no, we have we have Eldrazi spawn, right? One, two, three. So we can do it for like six. Wipes the blood board but like we have pretty decent out like this is actually not bad any order one two three four five six so one two three four i guess we'll attack first right wait this becomes oh christ oh god if we sack these it's pretty bad Oh, that changes everything. Each creature you control. Ugh. So this guy becomes like a 1919. Ugh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't do it. We have to sacrifice two. And if we sacrifice one, it goes to a six. Oh, boy. That's insane. Is there anything we can even do about that? I don't think so. It might have been blue to frogify this guy, but then it's still a 3-3 and this thing is still out of control. Why is this an A player? Ugh, God. I guess we could just block, block, and then just play it next turn. Hmm. We could also play it for like three here. I mean, they keep the blood bribe, but we get rid of their other two guys. And we get to keep a 4-4 and play like Rapacious Dragon, which puts a bunch of... I don't think that's terrible, actually. I think it's three. We get to keep our guy. They lose these two. We go to nine. They attack us for four. Dragon comes down next turn. Which lets us make two blockers. No, they're treasure tokens. Oh no. That's still fine. Still an option. Still, We still have options. Okay, it's fine. That just feels like a, a cantrip. pretty good <sighs> tuck tuck that's a yikes for me dog one two three four five so we can go one two three four five for rapacious Now we can frogify some. Oh wait, yeah, this is this is fine. We can sack that frogify. <sighs> Who? This guy becomes a three-three. Yeah, say the three-three that doesn't get bigger. Sure, because now we can go block block.
Yep. Get a counter. Sack the tuck tuck. Get a five five. Nice draw. Almost too good to be true. You can't block here? Why can't you block? Wait, what? Did I miss something? Creatures with power can't block. Oh, that's much better. Yep, that's a thing. Welp. Lightning Axe seems okay. Um, take out the dragon. I like our deck, but I don't know if it's consistent enough. Mm, I'm going to keep it because we have this and this. And that's... That's all I need to see. Oh man, Urza land and a chromatic star. What a time to be alive. Ancient stirring. Hmm. Do I have an incentive to crack this right now? I really don't think so. We'll just pass. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'm just going to keep passing. <laughs> See, this is not an ideal draft, guys. We tried. We tried to live the Urza's dream. Toxic Deluge said no. Okay, now I'm just going to try to hit a green. Any land will do. That's a hell of a land to hit. <laughs> Okie dokie. I mean, the mine is the one of, so. Sure. Yep. Can't block. Oh! Hold up. Power plant. Oh, the mine! <laughs> We are online, boys. Oh man, next turn we get Gelatinous Genesis. That's pretty good. Well, it was like turn turn four Tron. No, turn five? Yeah, we missed like two land drops. So, still feels all right. Oh, and this guy actually, one, two... So this is nine mana, so we can Gelatinous Genesis for for four. Yep, I'm okay with that. We do need a red so we can lightning axe this, otherwise we're just gonna lose to stupid idiots. I can't imagine they oh wow, that was great. <gasps> oh fuck. <laughs> um one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Did they just concede? Oh no, I think I have one too many. Yes. So we can go one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we go. Is it just better to play Leisure the Tangle here? Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> we could also play naturalists, kill this, and play cobra. I mean, none of our creatures can block if they play two guys, but then they just die on the crackback, so I don't think it's really that big of a deal. We have five five fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have twelve total mana. This is eight, but it's also double green, so it's gonna be all of our play. But it does let us attack next turn for like a billion. <sighs> or naturalists, we can just play naturalists and cobra. Yeah, I'm just doing this. Dang it, it keeps adding the stupid... There we go. Done. Also going to attack with the flyer here. Because I think four damage is relevant when they only have... Uh, when we have five five fives, so... I mean, next time we can also naturalist and kill this guy, so... They also have to be able to play two creatures for five mana. Does not seem like super likely. Okay, sack an artifact or creature, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Okay, so they did have two creatures. Okay, so they just put a counter on that guy. Okay, so they're going to attack for... If they attack with all three of these guys, they go to 12 and they have two blockers. So they take 15. So they have to attack with... They can only attack with like two guys. Ideally, it's these two. God, Champion of Lamb holds a hell of a card. I don't know what it's doing in this format, but it is a hell of a card. Hot blood, check it and see. not the one yep that's 11 jesus that's pretty bad <gasps> that'll do it pig <laughs> oh boy oh man we can also just rolling earthquake for like a billion right they go block 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 they take 5 10 14 then we just rolling earthquake for like two
You can stay home, my friend. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, got him. I almost kind of like Metallic Rebuke here, but... I'm just going to play Metallic Rebuke. Just got tossed it in there. There's definitely some cards I just want to counter and not have to deal with. Well, a green source here would be nice. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep it. Any green source just lets us, there's this tower. We have two turns to hit one. Plus we also have Whisper here. That's a green source, my doodles. Wow, that was a great draw. So I wonder if we play Whisper or Ancient Stirrings first. Ancient Stirrings, like waiting to play Ancient Stirrings gives you more time to naturally draw the cards you don't you don't know if you need yet. So if I draw an island, then I have less of a chance to... T oh, damn it. I have less of a, a chance to take one. Plus this gives us more green, so... Every game with this, literally every game. Literally every game with this card. Okay, so now we'll Ancient Stirrings because we want to hit something different, like a power plant. Cobra. One, two, three, four, come on, mine off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Four, four, fours. Pretty decent. Yeah, that's fine. Was it two, two? I'll block it. I will snap block it, in fact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, four, four, fours at this point in the game is just a lot, right? Oh, let's reflection first, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's cast reflection this turn. One, two mana reflection and then we can just wait one turn that is fine with me oh that's insane oh my god oh my fucking god <laughs> this is what I want this is I guess they're still five fives It's never easier. Oh boy. Well, we tried. Island on this guy is pretty good though. Like they have to play two creatures this turn. Island on Frogify, not Island. I mean, that's just, it's just discouraging. Not because we're losing, but because, like, you just want to do the cool stuff, you know?
So to be clear, we lost two of our rounds to our opponents having sweepers. Fantastic. Just super fucking demoralizing. Like, how does everyone have fucking rare sweepers? Come on. It's super obnoxious. They sacrifice this guy instead. I guess it's an extra damage. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait to see what they hit. I mean, the funny thing is because they killed our Whisper of the Wilds, like, we don't even have a way to, uh, cast, like, Liege of the Tangle. But. I mean, even if there's seven fucking sweepers, like, it's still rare, and, like, both of our opponents had to have them, so I don't know why that would make me feel better. I mean, the trick is, like, to play them for more than 13, right? Just play 14, 14s. Well, we now have, uh... Yeah, man, I get it. There's a lot of rares and there's a lot of sweepers. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I feel better now. I mean, what is there, Blasphemous Act? There's... Wrath of God slash David, whatever, whatever one's in the set, and Toxic Deluge, aren't those the three that kill everything? What else is there? Merciless Eviction? Why the fuck is Merciless... Why do you have fucking six sweepers in a set, man? <laughs> I mean, obviously they're not going to have... Austere Commander, Wrath of God, right? So their options are Deluge, Act, or O-Stone. So they have to, like... <sighs> this is wild. So we take... If we block here, we take three, four, five. Yeah, I'm definitely getting lands out of my deck. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yep. Cool. All right. O two. Actually, I mean, we get one more turn, maybe. <laughs> Block here. Sure. Yeah, it's not like I'm saying, like, even them fucking having it in their deck. Cool. Okay, cool. They drafted it because there's infinite rares and everyone gets a sweeper in their limited pool. But, like, the problem is, like, the turn after I cast a gelatinous Genesis, both games, they have it the turn later. So it's like, okay. Conclave Naturalists would block here. I mean, it's... <laughs> We're still not dead, I guess. I also don't under I guess I don't understand the um the decision of wizards to put six sweepers in a set, but you know. What do I know? Going to one. Well, adding a white. Leech of the Tangle. Kozilek's Predator is not terrible. I 
I guess you can count Cyclonic Rift too. Yeah, it's hilarious. So, Austere Command, Wrath of God, Oblivion Stone, Blasphemous Axe, Toxic Deluge, Cyclonic Rift, and of course they have another fucking Hasty Flyer. Cool. Engineer Expl Engineer Explosives, is it? Metallic Rebuke, wouldn't have done anything. There's Liege of the Tangle, cool. Well, let's try again. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's weird to add seven fucking board sweepers in a limited format where you draft two rares in the first pack in every pack so I don't know The problem is I don't want to draft sweepers. Like, sweepers are weird because, like, if you're behind, they're great. But if you're ahead, like, they do nothing. Like, and, and like, if you have two creatures and they have three, like, your sweeper still isn't that great because you're just three for three and you don't have... They, they get the first chance to, like, rebuild. So it's like, okay... You just have to exclusively drop decks that don't win by attacking with creatures. That sounds fucking terrible. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand. Two ancient stirrings. Deal. I should go back to 3-0. That was the That was the life. Alright, well, we get a rapacious dragon, which gives us two treasures, lets us cast ancient stars, which is pretty sweet. Two salt monoliths on the same screen. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so proud of you right now. Down here, salt is a way of life. It's a greeny boy. Let's play Basalty. Down here, Basalty is a way of life. So we have seven mana next turn. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Wow, Frank says he's proud of me more times than my actual family. No, don't like that. Yeah. God, what's it like having it all the time? Any order? Planners as mine. Now we got so many powers. I mean, we can go rapacious next turn into mana reflection. I mean, if someone paid three, they could probably untap me. I can imagine. Sure. I don't care about that thing at all. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn, we're just going to go mana reflection. And then we're going to just crush it you gonna kill this guy I will cast a spell oh this is just gonna make a 4-4 sounds good 
Let's put the axe on it too. Come on, axe it up. You know you want to. Oh, you're gonna put on that guy. Well, I'll just block here then. That's fine. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you could go mana reflection into stirrings. So we want to tap a permanent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, reflection. Tap this for stirrings. Peace strider. This doesn't do much. So long, Genesis. And we'll just pass the turn, take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. We can play lots of things. We just have to not die. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Go to one. We go to one. I'm having a good time. <laughs> Block. Okay, so block, block, everything's four, so we have to, yeah, we're just dead. Oh, dear God. Actually, we can kill this and take three, right? Do we have enough for that? No, maybe. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, maybe. I mean, it's a long shot. There's a tower and an island. Don't care about either of those dudes. So just don't have a creature. Even if you have a creature action. Eh, no, we're still dead. Because they're all fours. Oh, fucking God. It's never... It's so exhausting, dude. Cool. Nice Venge Vine into turn, turn three Rex Sage. <laughs> you love to see it. I don't think this deck is that bad either. That's the that's the thing. I'm telling you guys, like it's it's hilarious. Like we literally got game winning Genesis, Gelanus Genesis every time. They had rare sweepers. Like, what can you do? Like, can't make it so they don't have them. So, I mean, we also have eight more life if they didn't avenge vine this this draft. Like we're losing to rares, which is pretty unfortunate. Like. What are you going to do? Rares are a part of drafting, I guess. I mean, also one turn, yeah, we had Mana Reflection and the, the exact card they cast is is Nature's Conclave Naturalists. They have exactly five mana. They're able to kill this the exact turn we play it. So we don't get to make 32-32 Genesises. Um, and then we have, you know, the... Um, Basalt Monolith, and they have exactly Rex Age. So, I don't know. Rex Age being uncommon in the cube, not even common. So, what are you going to do? I mean, I'm not like. It's life. Um, well. Tower is probably better than Monolith here. It only, it only gives us one turn earlier, Sphinx. But, I mean, of course, it's not the. It's not the rare rare one in our deck. Hmm. Cobra. I mean, this is an easy red source in the future if we need it, so there's no reason to crack it right now. Make it three three. What's you gonna do? Two two. Probably two two and one one. Eh, that's fine. Tower Ash Barons or Oracle. Oracle we're pretty far from casting. Ash Barons can get us a red source, so it's probably Ash Barons. Sift is nice. 
Next turn we can play Cloud Reader Sphinx. And now that we have both our mana, the only double green card is uh, Leisure the Tangle and Mana Reflection, so I'm probably okay just cracking this to block. I'm actually probably just going to put Crushing Vines on that. Actually, eh, we'll block it. Green. Death Touch. Well, Island is not what we're looking for, but... Whisper also not... What were we saying? I'll put Power Plant on top, Mana Reflection I th think we're probably not in the business for. Okay. Hmm. 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 Deal. Um. I don't feel like we're winning that race. Like we take two. Or they take three, we block a one one, we take three two and we're lower, so Oh god, it never it never gets easier. I mean you need you need Yep, and they're gonna play another creature to get Vengevine back, because of course they are. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, like Yep. Not. Oh, I like tap the green. It doesn't matter. We're not going to kill Servo. I mean, it's not. Oh, we still have. I guess we could tap this guy if we really need it. The problem is, like, you need the you need both the um the payoff card and all three pieces of uh, of of Urza. So eh, deck was kind of a fail. <laughs> sure. Oh, look, they have a five five. We tap the four four. I mean, my heart, my heart's obviously not in this game anymore, so, you know. What can you do? I mean, unless we get, like, rolling Earthquake here. <laughs> like, even if we go block, block, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, we're still dead. We're still, like, dead no matter what. Ah. <sighs> Thanks for watching, guys. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklepore. You can support the channel for a dollar a month. One fucking dollar a month. It's all you gotta do. Super easy. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.